Okay, this video is to show how to get a two-pot epoxy from a bipack um, into a syringe. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is take and insert a tip cap on one of my syringes. I have two 3cc syringes here. Uh, this syringe is going to be used to take the material from the bipack once it's mixed and, and I'm going to load it into here first. Um, this is going to get a little bit messy which I'll show you when it takes place and um, so this syringe is not going to be um, able to be used on an LDS 9000 dispense gun. What we're going to want to do is dispense from here the bipack into this syringe and then use this syringe to properly fill a syringe through the nose end. My second syringe that's will, that will be made ready for the LDS 9000 gun I'm going to take and, and pre-plunge a piston all the way to the bottom of this syringe. And this syringe here is now uh, ready to accept the material. All right, I'll go through now and I'm going to mix this bipack two-part epoxy together. It's important that you make sure this is mixed very well. Okay, once the material is mixed, I'm going to try and get it all down to one end of the dispense uh, of the dispense bag here. Okay, now I'm going to go through and just cut the corner off of this bag. I'm going to take and, and see if I can get this as neatly as possible into this syringe. Next step is now I'm going to go through and I'm going to install a piston in the back of this syringe. And you can see that with the tip cap on, I'm going to just put a little pressure and try and get some of the air to blow by the piston and try and get it to seat down against the material. Um, the goal here is to try and get this uh, as air free as possible. Uh, this material happens to be thin enough where I can let the air float up to the top of the syringe. I'm going to attempt to get as much air out of this as possible before I load it into the syringe that's going to be actually used on the LDS 9000 dispense gun. Okay, that's not, uh, that's not too bad there. You can see I've got a fairly large air bubble still left inside the syringe. Um, also it's good to note at the back end here that where I did pour it into the syringe the inside of the barrel is contaminated and there's a little bit of blow by or if material is leaked by the piston wall and is contaminated you know the inside of the barrel contaminated the piston seal which is why this syringe is not capable of being used on the LDS 9000 uh, system you would not want to get any of this material that's contaminated the barrel onto the lead screw of the dispense gun. Okay, I'm going to go through at this point and remove my tip cap. I'm 
again I'm going to just try and get all of the air to the top of the syringe. I'm going to install what I have here is a lure to lure connector which will take me from this syringe to the nose of the syringe that I that I'm going to use for dispensing. Okay, I'm going to go through at this point and try and just eject some of that air out which again this might get a little bit messy as well but I'm just going to push the air out of the top of the syringe and at the same time I'm going to attempt to prime this lure to lure connector and get all of the air out um, so I've got material all the way to the top of this connection Next I'm going to take my syringe that has the piston pre-plunged all the way in it, all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to attach it to this lure to lure connector. And at this point I'm going to just inject the material into this syringe, and I should get a fairly air-free fill. Go through and remove this now. Install a tip cap. Okay, now I've got a syringe that's that's uh, about as air free as it's going to get, and um, the back end of the barrel, the piston seal is not compromised. The back end of the barrel is clean and safe to go through and put on an LDS gun without contaminating the lead screw, and uh, this syringe now is is ready to be used um, on the LDS 9000 system this syringe I'll just go through and, and dispose of. 